Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I am reviewing Kiki's Delivery Service, the book, by uh, by Eiko Kadono. Uh, this particular uh, edition uh, was translated by Emily Balistrieri, Balistrieri, uh, with uh, illustrations by Yuda Onoda. Um, this particular edition was released in uh, 2020. Uh, the original book was, uh, the book was originally published in 1985. Um, it is, of course, the inspiration for the movie by, uh, Hayao Miyazaki. Uh, there's actually been seven sequels to this one. Uh, Kiki and her new magic, magic Kiki and the other witch, Kiki's love, uh, perch of magic, each and every departure, uh, special edition people who met Kiki, and special edition two Kiki and Gigi. So yeah, uh, been a bunch of uh, sequels to this. Um, it's a popular enough book that uh, that Eiko Kodono obviously decided to make uh, to make some sequels, and not even close to being all she's written. Um, she's got nearly 200, she's written nearly 200 books. They're kids books, they're, sh they're short books, so, I mean, easy enough, but yeah, 200 books, she's, so she's written a lot. Um, in 2018, Kiki's Delivery Service uh, actually won uh, Han Christian Anderson Award, Just uh pretty prestigious um so yeah anyway uh kids book uh don't i need to really explain much most of you have probably seen the movie but uh this book the movie does differ a little bit from the book uh in that it has a plot <laughs> the book uh doesn't really have the same plot that the movie does uh so Yeah, so Kiki is a young witch uh, on her 13th birthday, uh, or shortly after her 13th birthday, uh, first moon, uh, first full moon after her 13th birthday, she leaves home, uh, as all witches do, uh, to find a town of her own uh, where she can be the witch, where she can be the town witch. Uh, she ends up in a town... What was it called? Sorry, I just want to get the name of the town again. Um, yeah, she wanted a town. Uh, it's a fairly large city, or it's a larger city. And... Uh, Corico. Uh, so, town of Corico. Um, she initially has a bit of a hard time when she gets there. She uh, meets and befriends a uh, woman named uh, Asuna, who owns a bakery. Um, Asuna gives her sort of a spare bedroom and lets her uh, run a delivery service out of... Uh, old flower room um so the rest of the chapters are mostly just about her you know about the time she spends in Corico, um certain deliveries that she goes on um i mean they're yeah i mean they're mostly about different uh different deliveries Um, some of them, some of them are in the movie as well, but a little bit different. Like, uh, for example, her delivering a, uh, a cage with a stuffed cat in it. Uh, that is from the book, but it's a little, plays out a little bit differently in the book. Um, a few other things like that. Uh, 
She doesn't uh, lose her magic at any point. Uh, that was just something that was uh, made up for the movie. Uh, that uh, Hayao Miyazaki came up with for uh, for the movie just to have a larger plot. Uh, yeah, it's a really it's a really good book. It's uh, it's a great kids book. It's uh, really nice, really cute, um, really fun. Kiki is uh, definitely a very charming uh, protagonist. Uh, she's got a lot of sass to her, um, a lot of heart, uh, a lot of joy. So she's just a uh, very fun protagonist. Um, the illustrations that are here are really nice. They're really good illustrations. Um, I had to get a good look at this one, but yeah. Like this one, that's, you know, lovely bit of art. Even though I can't really get a, uh, you don't really get a good uh, look at it here uh, on the camera. Uh, this one, another. Really well done illustration here. Again, hard to get it uh, in focus with this camera, unfortunately. But yeah, there's uh, a chapter where she has to deliver the new year. <laughs> Basically, the uh, the town's uh, big clock tower, the clock breaks down at New Year's, uh, so she has to sort of do something about that. There's another one where she delivers spring, basically meaning she uh, delivers a bunch of instruments to a band that was going to play uh, a concert um, to Herald Spring. Uh, so fun little ideas like that, fun little stories like that. Um, there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of young romance going on. Um, there's a local girl named Mimi, or I think Mimi, or no, not Mimi. It might be Mimi, actually. There are, there are some weird characters. There's one who, uh, there's an old woman who knits belly bands. They're like, just like to keep bellies warm. There's like these uh, little, you know, knitted things to that people can put around their bellies to keep their bellies warm which is a weird thing like that's just really weird to me but she does it so whatever yeah Mimi uh, there's a girl named Mimi uh, that sort of that has Kiki deliver a uh, gift to a boy she likes um, along with a poem and you know teaches her a little bit about sort of tween tween crushes tween romances and uh, you may remember if you've seen the movie you'll remember Tombo he is in here and there is definitely a bit of uh, crush mutual crushing going on between Kiki and Tombo um, though they do get off to a pretty bad a uh, pretty rough start and uh, yeah I mean it's just each chapter is just really fun and really cute and uh, being a 
kids book it does obviously go by very quick it is a very uh, quick read um, less than 200 pages and print is uh, fairly large and uh, the page is fairly small so yeah it's a very sh short read but uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I love the movie. Kiki's Delivery Service is one of my all-time favorite movies. And, uh, which is why I picked up the book. On a side note, I love this uh, cover illustration. Like, that is just such pretty art. But uh, yeah, so I love the uh, I love the movie, so that's why I wanted to read the book, and it was worth it. Is it you know it was worth reading. It's uh, it's a great kids book. So especially if you have young kids, I absolutely recommend this one. They will definitely get a kick out of it. They will absolutely love it. Um, but even if you don't. It's worth, it's just worth reading for yourself. Just, if you love the movie, it's worth checking out the book that inspired it. Um, I wouldn't say that one is better than the other in this case. Uh, they're different enough that uh, you can't really say that uh, the book is better than the movie or that the movie is better than the book. Uh, they both have different strengths. Uh, the uh, the movie has a tighter plot. Uh, the book is looser. Uh, while I'm on the topic of how much I love Kiki's Delivery Service, yeah, couple of movie posters that uh, for it that I've got uh, picked up at. Uh, At comic conventions. So yeah, like I said, one of my absolute favorite movies of all time. Um, so had to read the book. And I do have a long enough pull list or re uh, to read list. I do have a long enough list of books to read. Uh, as it is, but once I make more of a dent in my reading list, I will de give definite consideration to reading some of the, uh, the other books in the series. Just because they are, just because if they're anything like this one, then it's, you know, it's an absolutely charming read. Um, just breezy and comfortable. And with some truly lovely illustrations. Uh, I imagine the illustrations in the other ones will probably be different, probably different uh, artists for each of them. But... Uh, Whoever the other artists are, I'm sure they're very good as well. Let's see if I can find another good illustration here. Clothesline. <laughs> so yeah, Kiki Delivery Service by Eko Kadono. Uh, check it out. I'm sure, you know, there are different, uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure there are different translations out there, so whichever one you get is, whichever translation you get is fine. Such lovely art. And, uh, yeah, so, I said this version, the edition I got, translated by Emily Bellistrieri, she did a good job, illustrations by Yuta Onoda, um, 
who did excellent work with the illustrations. Gorgeous illustrations. So yeah, check it out if you want. And if you haven't, and if you haven't watched the movie, watch the movie because it's amazing. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for now. So, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day.